Hey, it's Ross here, just jumping down to the range just to have a little bit of a short game session. I've got my mask on, but I'm taking it off just for the video. I've got a couple of new wedges to uh, take you through. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to uh, do my best to talk to you about the TaylorMade Mill Grind 3 and the Callaway Full Toe Jaws family. They're both very exciting new wedges in those two, from those two brands. It's a great afternoon to have a chip, get some practice in for the summer of golf ahead. Stay tuned. Thanks very much. G'day, and thanks for joining me down here on the range. It's been a beautiful afternoon to get in some chipping practice, getting ready for the summer of golf. Can't wait to get back out there and start playing some golf and uh, hopefully scoring pretty well. One of the things that I need to score pretty well is a fresh set of wedges. That's why I brought down two of the latest releases from two of the big brands. Yes, it can only be the TaylorMade Mill Grind 3 and the Callaway Full Toe Jaws. Two great wedges from two great companies. Hard to split them. Not that I'm here to split them, I'm just here testing them and having a bit of a go because I've got the luxury and the benefit of being able to do that. So I thought, why not give you a little bit of an insight into the, my experience in hitting these two wedges. And as I said before, hard to, hard to split. So why don't I tell you about both of them? You can do some research. And if you want to get in store and get fitted, because getting fit for wedges is really important. It's a really important part of fitting your bag out, really important part of maximizing your scoring opportunities to have the right profile of wedges for your game and for your conditions. So let's, let's talk a little bit about that. Firstly, the Mill Grind 3 from TaylorMade. Looking tour inspired wedge. As the name suggests, Mill Grind 3, it's the third generation. TaylorMade have been using the Mill Grind process for a number of years now. That's what gives them their ability to finish the sole of the wedge exactly the same on every wedge that they make. And that's really important to them as a brand, really important to their tour players that use and trust these wedges to score the best. And that's what you get, basically, when you invest in a Mill Grind 3, you get that consistency of the CNC milling. The other thing that you get when you invest in the consistency of CNC milling is a new bounce sole. They put a lot of attention to detail into this new bounce sole with feedback from the tour players who just wanted a little bit more relief and shapeability, I guess, if that's the right way to use that phrase. So you can see a slight different shape, a slight different bounce profile. And the bounce available is low bounce, standard bounce, and high bounce. You've got a range of bounces available. So when you do get fit for your wedges, as I said before, really important to do that, you've got a bounce profile that you can really suit for the different styles of shots and conditions and swings. So the range of wedges run from 46 degree in the tall chrome right through to 60. You can get two finishes, the tall chrome, tall satin chrome here, or the tall black. If you're a person that likes to match the color of their wedge to their P790s or P770s, then you might want to look at this beauty. Or if you like me, like something a bit different, you might go for the black version. Up to you. So we've talked about the sole. The other important thing when we look at the tailor-made mill grind is just, and talking about that look is how clean it is. That aesthetic is really important to the brand. Little call out of the mill grind three, little mill grind name there, and the tailor-made T-bug up there. You know, that's been adorning their irons for a long time. It's their signature. So it looks very classic and very sleek. But if you notice it there on the camera, you know, if you can pick it up, that little pad there, that's thick fin technology. So that is a positioning of weight. That is TaylorMade's engineers really maximizing the CG by allowing them to move the CG up high to give you, the player, the best access to flight control and therefore spin and shot making versatility. That's really important. So the thick fin pad and the positioning of the weight up there gives you that access to flight control, spin and feel. Really important. Okay, so when we talk about feel and spin, well, that's all generated from the little spin machine at the front here. You've got micro ribs on the front. So you've got grooves and the new tailor-made grooves, but also in between those grooves, you've got raised micro ribs. Very hard to see in the camera. You need to see them in the flesh, get in and check them out. But the micro ribs just give you that extra layer of spinmanship that make this wedge tailor-made's most spinning that they've made. You need to check that out. But the other thing here, you can see the raw face. Well, for a number of years, we've been doing raw with tailor-made on a number of models now. So you're familiar with that. So raw, it's unplated steel. Here, here, plated steel, here, unplated. So this is going to patina. It's going to rust. Once it gets exposed to the elements, once you peel that sticker off after you take it home, that will start to be exposed to the elements and start to oxidize. And that's another element to give you a great look, a great aesthetic, really reducing glare, 
allow you to frame up the ball, but give you that feel and spin, access to spin across a wide variety of conditions and turf interactions. That's what RAW gives you. What else? The other really important thing that we uh, need to show you is the Dynamic Gold True Issue Shaft S200. So it's an upgraded shaft. It's a True Issue Shaft. That's True Temper's highest performing shaft. That's standard in the club there now. And the beautiful blue lamp can grip. Really good, nice feel from that grip. Grip's important when you get fitted. Make sure you get your grip size. Make sure you get your hand measured. And make sure we're putting the right size grip on there for you. If you need to upsize to a midsize, do that. If you need a couple of tapes, we can do that. No problems at all. But really get that checked out. Lamp and grip, it's a beauty. Mill grind free. If you're a tailor made person, if you've got older wedges, you will be losing spin. You need to change them you know, somewhat often to get access to the best spin because spin gives you stopping power. Stopping power gets your ball to stop near the hole, and that's what gives you the best access to knocking those putts in and scoring and reducing your handicap. Really important stuff. Now the other one that I'm playing around with, the Callaway Jaws Full Toe. It's a new addition to the family. It's not a replacement, it's a new addition, but it takes some of the design ideology from that PM grind or from that PM face, that tall toe, takes that and puts it into this new full toe Jaws. So that's, as it says, full toe. You can see it's Callaway's tall toe here. When we get a tall toe, once again, we get to position the weight and the CG up nice and high to give you a nice controllable flight. Once again, feel and spin the products of having optimized CG. You can see here at the back, as we move around to the back, the holes there, they're not just aesthetics, they're all different depths. So that's been milled precisely to allow that weight to be positioned optimally. So those little weight ports there allow the engineers to put weight where they need it to optimize that CG. Once again, two different options, full toe raw face chrome, and full toe raw black. Match set the apex irons, you can get that color. If you like something different, you can go for that black color. What else? As I said before, on the front is where it all happens. So I've shown you the full face and the tall toe, but you've got grooves all the way along. So whatever way you play that shot, wherever the ball strikes, out of the rough, out of the tight lies, out of the bunkers, pitching, chipping, full shots, wherever the ball strikes, you can see here, I've got a couple out of the center, a couple out of the toe, you will get access to maximum spin because you've got grooves all the way across the face but also new grooves again of course groove and groove technology it's hard to see on the on the fading sunlight here the beautiful sun's are setting down over there groove and groove technology mill some extra milling on the face here you can see that but as well raw first callaway's first ever raw face and uh, once again that helping you optimize the spin giving you the consistency of the flight and the feel and giving you the access to the spin on the face when the ball strikes the face across a wide variety of conditions. That is really important. The next important part, just flicking back to the sole, it's a C-grind. So C-grind is Callaway's most versatile bounce sole profile. There's a little bit of trailing edge relief here. You can see that. So on those little nippy spinning chips off the tight lies, you can get that leading edge under there. But when you've got to lay it open, you need you know, some access to bounce and the soft sand or out of the, the longer rough, you know, you've got a bit of bounce. Bounce is your friend. We've all heard everyone talking about how to use the bounce, learning how to use the bounce to get the best out of your wedges. You've got 12 degrees of bounce on this 56. So there's a range of lofts. You need to check that out. But the C grind is the sole grind in the Callaway full toe jaws. That's important to understand. Next, also Dynamic Gold two issue shaft, but it's the Dynamic Gold spinner. That's optimized to flex in the right position to allow that head to give you the maximum access to spin. You can get shown that, you can feel that when you get fitted, but it's really important when you get fitted to take in your pitching wedge, let us check out the loft, and really look at your full bag and match in a wedge system. And I call it a system because it very much is a system, it's a part of your scoring system. We need to match that in and give you the incremental gaps that you need to maximize your score. Whatever, whatever your gap profile is, we can help that. Whether it's two wedges, three wedges, four wedges, whatever you need whether it's the MG3 or the Full Toe Raw, you can get that from TaylorMade, Callaway, you can come in store, check it out. I've enjoyed hitting these. Uh, this, these are uh, beautiful wedges. I'm lucky enough to be able to 
pull them both out and have a little hit as the sun goes down. I'm gonna hit one up there. Fill your divots in, fill your pitch marks in, look after your course, and we'll all be in a great position. Thanks, my name's Ross. Thanks for tuning into this short vlog. Plenty more of this coming. Tune in. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Get in the hole. Go in. <laughs>